Solving a system by graphing, we're going to graph each line individually, and we've got a test points for each of the inequalities, and then we'll shade them individually. But the final actual answer is where all of them are intersecting in the shaded areas. I don't know if that helps or not. But it is good to focus on these one at a time, all right? So just focus on these as one equation at a time so that we don't get overwhelmed by how many there may be. Question, specifically on these, we have to solve them by graphing because there is an infinite number of solutions. If it was a system of equalities, then we would be looking for a point of intersection. If there were three equations, we'd be looking for either a line or a single point. So on these, uh, I will turn these into slope-intercept form. So this first equation, 2x minus 3y greater than or equal to 12. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I got a negative 3y. I'm going to skip a step and make it just negative 2x plus 12. Now I'll divide everywhere by negative 3. And since I divided everywhere by negative, it's going to flip the inequality. So I got 2 thirds x minus 4. So I have a y-intercept now at 0, negative 4 for this specific line. This one's going to be a solid line because it's also equal to here. And my slope is up 2 to the right 3. Up 2, where the heck was I? To the right 3, there we go. Up 2 to the right 3. And I can continue the same pattern here, down two and to the left three. However you want to look at it, that's up to you. So to graph this thing, I almost hit that pretty good. That's all right. And this one again is a solid line. I am going to test the origin. So I'm going to test zero, zero in the original inequality, so that would be a zero here, minus zero, and we're saying that zero is greater than or equal to 12. This is false. So since that's false, I need to shade the other side of that line. Now, if you're doing this with just pencil, maybe you prefer cross-hatching. You know what, I'll, I'll just pretend like I don't have a iPad like this. So I would just use some kind of cross hatching like this. So that's how I would shade the red line. I'm going to do this one in purple here. So once again, let's write this out. I got 2x minus 3y less than negative 12. I will subtract 2x from both sides. And skipping a step, I got negative 3y is less than negative 2x minus 12. And I would divide everywhere by negative 3, which flips my inequality. So y is greater than uh, 2 thirds x plus 4. So that gives me a y-intercept here at 0, 4 with a slope of two-thirds up two to the right three. Whoops. I'll use a different point here. There we go. Up two to the right three. There we go. Up two to the right three and so forth. And I got these other ones as well. Two and three. There we go. And this one is a dashed line because it's not equal to. So you can do dotted line as well if you'd like. Oh, that's pretty bad. All right, that'll work. And again, I need to test the point for this line. So I'm going to test for the purple line, 0, 0. And that gives me a 0 here, minus 0. So I got 0 is less than negative 12. This one is false. And so I would shade the other side of that line like this. 
So the question is, where do the two shaded areas meet? Where do we shade? What area do we shade both of these? Well, there isn't one. Specifically, we can look at these two lines and see that they're parallel because the slopes are the same. And these, where's my other slope? There it is. So since the slopes are the same and the y-intercepts are different, from the shading we see that they never cross. So this one has no solutions. Here's the thing about that, and this is kind of tricky, I guess, is uh, if both of these had been switched, then this red one would have been shaded this way, and the purple one would have been shaded this way, and it would have graphed in between the two, which is, uh, there's a slight chance that could happen. Uh, on the other hand, you could have had the red one, which would have shaded above, and then see how it intersects with the purple one in this area as well. So, we have to be careful with that. So, with the equality, you 